Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So I wanted to cover something real to you really quick. This is Wonder Wondershare for Mora video editing software, and I wanted to cover something pretty simple, but a lot of people don't realize that you can do this option with this specific video editing software. So we're going to go ahead and delete these. This is the project screen, basically. You can click here to to go ahead and bring something in. You can also click here, import media files, and also here. So we'll import picture. You can choose any picture. For instance, we'll bring this one in. Now this is to create YouTube thumbnails, okay? Really super simple. You grab this, hold it down, drag it down here to the project, play, line here, stretch it out, stretch it out, go to the text credit, and scroll all the way down until you see some words. Grab something, pull it here. Now if you're going to have multiple words, hold on, so click it, left click, right click, edit, now it pops up here, you can highlight it put whatever you want. Now if you're wanting to do this to where you have multiple words, it's important that you remember that you may need to add a few extra things. So I'm going to show you real quick. Basically that says please subscribe. You can also add over here on the left hand margin if you double click this you can get that. You can also scroll down. You can anything that you use in this bar you have to double click. You say please subscribe. Say okay. It says okay. Now if you want to do more words, if you want more to your thumbnail than that, you can do pictures. You can do all kinds of things, okay? <clears throat> you can do, for instance, you can add an additional picture. You go over here, and then you go add import media files. And for instance, I'm just going to take any picture. It's not really going to make sense necessarily, but I'm going to show you what I mean. So you get a picture here, and that picture is over that picture. Obviously, that's kind of inconvenient, um, and it's not going to make sense. Hold on. Let's not make it look completely strange. So we got a picture here, and we can turn the picture, and we can put it over here. And for whatever purposes you may have, circles or I have no clue what you're going to be putting on yours. So push play. Yeah, please subscribe. Now down here, you'll notice you only have one text line in the bottom left-hand corner where my arrow is. You have one text line, and a lot of you guys can be trying to figure out how to get multiple words, and it's just not really working. So right here on the very bottom left-hand corner, add new track. That's going to be T for text track. Click two, or however many you want to add. You add it, and you've got another one. What that means is you can go back in here, and you can add another text line, which is cool because you edit then you have the ability to add another one. It says please subscribe or else. Now you can add any kind of thing you want. little trick to get that gone, just add a dot. It doesn't look as strange. For some reason it always cuts the exclamation point off. Then you push, push OK. And then play goes through. Kind of a weird display there. Edit. Looks like I'm a little high on that one. So I'll bring this in. Bring that down. Please subscribe or else. Now obviously you can do this so many different ways. This is just for screwing around purposes and trying to help you understand how to use these services. Push play. 
So in the beginning, you'll notice nothing will be on there except for whatever image you overlaid. Push play. Wait till everything shows up that you want. Then there's this little camera button, snapshot. Click snapshot. What does it do? Come over here to media. It saves it. So if you put that right here, you can view it, and that's your picture. Okay, so that's your thumbnail. That's your thumbnail for your YouTube channel, for Facebook posts, for whatever you want to use it for. Okay? So now, I can go ahead and delete all this. That's the creation. Okay? That turned into that. Now it's just a solid state. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, so how do I get it to my computer? It's already in your computer. Go to this picture. Left click, nothing. Right click, and then find target. Now pay attention, it's going to show you exactly where it's at in your computer to be able to save you time. Okay? Shows me right here. If I follow this, it's going to be in this PC, then it's going to be under user resources, then it's going to be in snapshot. Okay? Should be easy enough. That's the quick way to find it. The more you use it, you usually get a shortcut here for snapshot. You can see all my thumbnails are in there. They're complete. Anything else? If you have questions, if there's something that you're trying to figure out, specifically with Wonder, Wondershare for more, please feel free to put your questions in the comment section below. I hope this video helped you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Have an amazing day. And also, go check out my friend's channel, Iron Curl. She's a new up-and-coming fitness channel, and I'll put the link in the description below. Have an awesome day, guys.